I could tell that they were rotten because they smelled like they were rotten. So that was a good sign. DIY hair mask video. Excuse me. I'm not gonna lie, when you do put this in your hair, you will smell like a salad. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my hair channel. Today, I'm gonna be talking about something very interesting and strange that I tried out last week, and I'm not too sure what to make of it yet. So as you can probably tell by the title of this video, it has something to do with putting rotten avocados in your hair. Let me backpedal a little bit just to explain to you where this idea came from. As you guys know, I love making DIY hair masks and treatments and products and whatnot. I think making your own hair products and skin products sometimes end up being much higher quality and way more effective than stuff that you can buy in store. That's why I love sharing certain DIYs that I swear by with you guys. So when I heard about this one, I was ready to test it out for myself and see if this is something that is worth your while. So several weeks ago, I was out for dinner with one of my best friends and I noticed that her hair was looking Amaze balls. It was so shiny, so glossy. It was getting longer and thicker. So I was straight up and asked her, girl, what the hell are you doing with your hair? Because mama needs that stuff too. So she told me about this crazy DIY hair mask that she has been doing on her hair and she swears by it. She says that it makes her hair so much healthier. It's growing much faster. It's not splitting as much. She doesn't have as many dead ends. So all of this was like, like music to my ears and then she told me that to make this DIY mask you would have to use rotten avocados. Who puts rotten avocados in their hair? Apparently my best friend does. Okay, so I know this idea sounds crazy, but if you saw my best friend's hair last year and you saw now, the difference is just unreal. So because I saw the difference for myself, I thought that I would give it a go and try it on my own hair and see if this crazy DIY hair mask actually works. Okay, so here's what you need to do. You need to buy two to five avocados depending on how long and thick your hair is. My hair is pretty long now and it's pretty Thick, but most of all, it's very porous, which means that it just sucks up and absorbs everything that you put on it. So I decided to use, I believe, four or five avocados. And what you wanna do with these avocados is leave them out on your countertop and wait until they rot. Yes, people, I'm not kidding when I say this, you want to make sure that they are rotten. So how do you know they're rotten? You wanna make sure that when you squeeze the avocados, you don't have to use a lot of force to squeeze them. I knew that my avocados were rotten once I squeezed them and my finger just went right through the skin. Ideally, you want them to be as dark as possible on the inside as possible. The blacker they are, apparently the better that is. I don't know why that is, but that's what my best friend said, so. I tried to follow her instructions to a T. So for some reason, my avocados didn't get super, super dark inside. They got dark in certain areas, but they were super mushy and I could tell that they were rotten because they smelt like they were rotten. So that was a good sign. So once your avocados are super soft and pretty much rotten on the inside, you wanna scoop them out into a blender. You can mash them by hand, but I find that it is way harder to wash it out of your hair when you have chunks of avocado in your hair. Plus it doesn't absorb into your hair as well. So my advice is to scoop it out into a blender. And then what I like to do is add in a carrier oil. Like I said, in my previous DIY hair mask video, Excuse me. Like I said in my previous DIY hair mask video, my hair has been loving extra virgin olive oil. So I decided to add in a few tablespoons of that into my mixture. You don't have to use as much as I did. I used about three to four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. But if your hair is thinner than mine or shorter than mine, you can definitely get away with one to two tablespoons. This is really just a carrier oil just to make sure that the avocados blend well together and it's gonna be much easier to apply to your hair. And plus, extra virgin olive oil, I already told you guys, is chock full of amazing essential fatty acids, vitamin E, antioxidants, and all of that amazing good stuff for your hair. And then to the avocado and olive oil mixture, I also added in some cucumbers and tomatoes. I'm totally just kidding, guys. Honestly, it sounds like I'm making a salad, I know. Okay, so once all my ingredients are in my blender, I just mix it up until everything is nice and smooth and well blended. 
needed. This doesn't take more than a minute or two. And then I go ahead and apply this mixture to my scalp and to my hair and make sure that my entire scalp and hair is super, super saturated. Another tip I want to give you guys is to brush your hair through before you apply the treatment. That way it's going to be much, much easier for you to get into every single area of your hair. And I also like to brush out my hair while I'm putting my treatment in. That way I can make sure that every single strand of hair is coated. So I have used avocados and different DIY hair masks in the past, and I usually love using them because I know that they are full of amazing unsaturated fats and good for your hair oils and a lot of other nutrients and vitamins that are really amazing for your overall hair health. Obviously, this is the first time I've used avocados that have been rotten and I have no idea what the benefits of that are and I looked it up online and I couldn't find any information on why rotten avocados would be good for your hair so usually this would be the point where I would tell you the benefits of putting rotten avocados on your hair or putting a certain ingredient on your hair but I don't really have any I'm honestly just going off of what my friend swears by and decided to see what the results would be. Oh yeah, I wanted to give you guys a heads up that this process is super messy of applying it to your hair. I applied the mixture to my hair over my sink. So I put the bowl with the avocado mixture in my sink and I kind of put my hair over my sink and tried to apply it to my hair over my sink, but it managed to get all over my mirror, all over my countertop, all over my bathroom floor. So I'm just letting you know it is a hot mess no matter how careful you try to be. So if you can, I would recommend applying it to your hair in the shower. That way you can just easily take your shower head and rinse it all off and you can get it nice and clean in a matter of seconds okay so once you cover your entire head with this avocado mixture you want to tie up your hair for a minimum of six hours don't ask me why that's what my friend told me to do she said it has to be in your hair for a minimum of six hours if it's less than that it's no good the longer it's in your hair the better so that's what i did so I left it in my hair for six hours. If you want to leave it in your hair overnight, I would recommend just wrapping your hair in saran wrap. That way you don't get your pillow dirty. And then that way you can put it in your hair before you go to bed and just wash it out in the morning. Once my time was up, I hopped into the shower and I tried to wash the mixture out of my hair as much as I possibly could with water first. I have to warn you guys, as I was washing the avocado mixture out of my hair, my hair felt like hay. It was so dry, but my friend said that it's completely normal. So if you guys try this mask out, just know it's completely normal. So I wash it out as much as I possibly could with water. Your water will look black when it's going down your drain. That is also normal. And then I went ahead and double wash my hair with shampoo and then applied a deep conditioning mask to my hair, left it in for about five minutes while I did all of my other shower routine things that I usually do in my shower. And then I wash everything out of my hair. Now I'm gonna give you another warning. My friend said for the next three days, your hair is gonna look like And I'm not gonna lie to you, my hair looked like My hair still felt dry. It was very difficult to brush out. So my friend said, you need to wash your hair another two times just with regular shampoo and conditioner for your hair to feel amazing and let me tell you that day after i washed my hair from the diy hair mask i legit almost had a panic attack but i sucked it up and i washed my hair two more times and let me tell you my friend was right my hair was so nice and smooth and shiny and soft after that did my hair grow from this diy hair mask i don't know yet because i've only done this treatment one time but i can definitely see a difference in the overall shininess and softness of my hair so this is what my hair looks like after i wash my hair another two times after the first time i washed my hair from the diy hair mask and as you can see my hair looks pretty soft it's shiny it's very touchable you can comb your fingers through it there's no tangles so i still need to try this mask out a few more times to really see if it makes a huge difference in my hair but the fact that that's the only diy hair mask that my friend does on her hair and i saw such a dramatic difference in her hair that makes me really optimistic. So I just wanna let you guys know that in general, the benefits of putting avocados and extra virgin olive oil in your hair are 
amazing. It is great for hair that is dry, damaged, and brittle. It is also amazing for those of you who suffer from a dry, itchy, flaky scalp like I do. It really helps to nourish the scalp and make sure that your scalp stays hydrated. It also helps fight hair loss and promotes healthy, long hair. If you guys are interested in trying out this DIY hair mask using rotten avocados, I would suggest doing this about once a month, only because I don't recommend washing your hair so frequently. Personally, I wash my hair every five to seven days, as I've mentioned like a bajillion times on my channel. I'm a strong believer that if you wash your hair too frequently, it really strips your hair of its natural oils and it also promotes more hair fallout. If you guys do try out this DIY hair mask, please let me know in the comments below your results and how you liked it. And if you see a positive difference in your hair and your scalp, I would be so curious and interested to know. So please be sure to leave me your feedback in the comments below. Okay guys, so that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you like these videos and want to see more of them, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I also wanted to remind you guys that I do have a second channel where I do a bunch of other amazing DIYs for beauty, makeup. I have some makeup tutorials going on there. There's a lot of cool and fun stuff that I do on my second channel that I don't do on my hair channel. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'm going to leave a link right over here that you can click on to head on over to my second channel. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.